Um, and it's in that spirit that God, well, this, this doesn't directly affect us. There are good friends, and you want for your mates the very, very best, don't you? So I think from our perspective, it's not just about supporting what they're doing, but good on them for where they can go further than where we can. And let me be very direct about that, you know, in terms of the fact that we've got a good new buses act that has opened up so many opportunities for us and our bus network. Good, it's not brilliant. If the Welsh Government can go further and, for example, give every part of Wales automatic access to franchising powers in a way that in England, unless you're a you've got a metro man, you don't have that, they should do that. If they can simplify the mechanisms by which you can introduce new models of doing buses away from sort of the quite laborious business case approach we're having to go through, they should do that. Also, as well, ridding themselves of some of the ideological nonsense that we have to kind of work around. The fact we're banned from setting up a bus operator if that's what we wanted to do, why shouldn't Welsh local government be able to do that as well? So I really sort of welcome the opportunity for us to say we support what you're doing, you know, we want you to succeed, but you know what, go on and do it even better because what you can do over the border, you know what, can come across on our side of the border as well. So really, really important opportunity to support our very, very good friends and neighbours next door. So, with all of that in mind, if I can move the uh, recommendations in paragraph two of the report, if that's agreed. Agreed. Excellent. And on to the final substantive item, we've got public question time, and Mr. Wells has got a couple of questions for us. <laughs> Two bus services running 
to up and down sort of Green Bay Road. And I wondered what's actually going to happen if, if as and when they create the, the Silver Gateway, the, 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 the Silver Jubilee Bridge, will we have more buses in that part of Brunswick again? Or, or are we still going to be left with just two buses right now? Okay, thanks very much. We've got the response that we've requested from Holton Council, so I shall read that out accordingly. Um, Greenway Road continues to have the same frequency of service as prior to the Silver Jubilee uh, bridge closure. The 61 continues to op operate along the route, although the 82A has been withdrawn and replaced by the X1 service. The services that pass the bus stop at the rail station from Munkhorn Town Centre only use the section of Greenway Road from the High Street to the on-slip to the Silver Jubilee to cross to witness. None of these services stopped on Greenway Road itself. It is anticipated that bus services will revert to using the Silver Jubilee Bridge once it reopens, therefore serving the bus stop at the rail station on the Silver Jubilee Bridge approach. And obviously, uh, we'll give you both of those responses in writing accordingly. Thanks, Brie. That's Thank you again for joining me. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, item 9 is petitions and statements that we have not submitted. Uh, and item 10 is any urgent A or B of which there is none today. So thank you for your attendance. Close the meeting. Look forward to seeing you on the 4th of April, which will be our last meeting of this municipal year. Thank you.